Ahoy, me hearties! Welcome to Trivia Tales, the channel that explores the fascinating world of pirates. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most infamous pirate cities in history. Pirates have always been associated with certain cities and ports, where they could find safe havens, sell their loot, and recruit new crew members. These cities were often located in strategic locations, such as near trade routes or in areas with weak or corrupt governments. One of the most infamous pirate cities in history was Port Royal, Jamaica. In the late 17th century, Port Royal was a bustling hub of pirate activity, with thousands of pirates calling it home. The city was known for its lawlessness, with pirates openly flaunting their wealth and engaging in all sorts of debauchery. However, Port Royal's reign as a pirate city was short-lived, as a devastating earthquake in 1692 destroyed much of the city and killed thousands of its inhabitants. Another infamous pirate city was Nassau, Bahamas. In the early 18th century, Nassau was a haven for pirates, with its natural harbor providing a safe place for pirates to anchor their ships. The city was known for its pirate-friendly laws, which allowed pirates to sell their loot and live freely without fear of prosecution. Nassau was also home to some of the most famous pirates in history, such as Blackbeard and Calico Jack. However, the city's pirate heyday came to an end in the mid-18th century, when the British government cracked down on piracy in the Caribbean. Another notorious pirate city was Tortuga, which was located off the coast of Haiti. Tortuga was a pirate stronghold in the 17th century, with pirates using the island as a base for their raids on Spanish ships. The city was known for its lawlessness and debauchery, with pirates engaging in all sorts of vices. However, Tortuga's reign as a pirate city was short-lived, as the French government took control of the island in the late 17th century and put an end to piracy there. One of the most famous pirate cities in history was Port Royal, Jamaica. In the late 17th century, Port Royal was a bustling hub of pirate activity, with thousands of pirates calling it home. The city was known for its lawlessness, with pirates openly flaunting their wealth and engaging in all sorts of debauchery. However's reign as a pirate city was short-lived, as a devastating earthquake in 1692 destroyed much of the city and killed thousands of its inhabitants. Moving on to the Mediterranean, we have the infamous pirate city of Algiers. Located in modern-day Algeria, Algiers was a hub of piracy in the 16th and 17th centuries, with pirates raiding ships from all over the Mediterranean. The city was known for its powerful corsairs, who were licensed by the Ottoman Empire to attack Christian ships. Algiers was also a center of the slave trade, with thousands of Europeans and Africans being captured and sold into slavery. The city's reign as a pirate city came to an end in the early 19th century, when the French conquered Algeria and put an end to piracy in the region. Another famous pirate city was Portobello, Panama. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Portobello was a major hub of trade between Spain and its colonies in the Americas. However, the city was also a target for pirates, who would raid Spanish ships and steal their treasure. Portobello was heavily fortified, but that didn't stop pirates like Henry Morgan from attacking the city and making off with its riches. Today, Portobello is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its ruins serving as a reminder of its pirate past. Finally, we have the infamous pirate city of New Providence, Bahamas. In the early 18th century, New Providence was a haven for pirates, with its natural harbor providing a safe place for pirates to anchor their ships. The city was known for its pirate-friendly laws, which allowed pirates to sell their loot and live freely without fear of prosecution. New Providence was also home to some of the most famous pirates in history, such as Blackbeard and Calico Jack. However, the city's pirate heyday came to an end in the mid-18th century, when the British government cracked down on piracy in the Caribbean. In conclusion, these were some of the most infamous pirate cities in history. From Port Royal to Nassau, Tortuga to Algiers, Portobello to New Providence, these cities were hubs of piracy and lawlessness, where pirates could find safe havens, sell their loot, and recruit new crew members. While their reigns as pirate cities were often short-lived, their legacy lives on in the annals of pirate history. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Trivia Tales. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about pirates and their adventures. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. But before we go, let's take a moment to reflect on the impact that these pirate cities had on history. 
While piracy is often romanticized in popular culture, it was a brutal and violent practice that caused untold suffering and destruction. The pirates who called these cities home were often ruthless and cruel, preying on innocent ships and people for their own gain. And while some of these cities may have been known for their lawlessness and debauchery, they were also centers of trade and commerce, where people from all over the world came to do business. Today, many of these pirate cities are tourist destinations, with their ruins and museums serving as reminders of their pirate past. But while we may be fascinated by the stories of pirates and their adventures, we must also remember the human cost of piracy and the impact it had on the world. In conclusion, the most infamous pirate cities in history were places of lawlessness, debauchery, and violence. From Port Royal to Nassau, Tortuga to Algiers, Portobello to New Providence, these cities were hubs of piracy and trade, where pirates could find safe havens, sell their loot, and recruit new crew members. While their reigns as pirate cities were often short-lived, their legacy lives on in the annals of pirate history. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Trivia Tales.